California native Marlena Stell is one of the most recognizable faces at the forefront of the new beauty landscape. It's all about the nitty gritty education of makeup. Her glossy and glam videos are followed by millions. Marlena's six year old company, Makeup Geek, has more than 275 products. And last year, the business brought in over $22 million in sales. Marlena built her thriving beauty brand by blending her makeup artistry and social media savvy with the educational tools she learned as a high school band teacher. I loved teaching, but the music just wasn't where my heart was. And so I started doing YouTube videos on the side. That was 2008, and the power of this new platform was just starting to gain momentum. I would just turn on a camera and say, I love makeup. I think I'm just going to teach makeup for a bit. Marlena had no intention of becoming a digital sensation, and her videos were far from perfect and far from polished. I wanted to sit down and just do a five minute makeup routine. If you had seen my first setup, you would laugh. One camera in my second bedroom, my window and curtains behind me. So total investment was? Maybe $200, if that. <laughs> <laughs> For Marlena, it was simply about sharing her passion and her how-to sensibility. Do you see how there are three individual lashes grouped together? That it was hard not to notice. The demand for her content was multiplying by the day. So take your little brush and your lip color. What do you think it is about you that got you so many views early on? I think because I was real, I wasn't afraid to be myself. You know, I've always been a curvy girl. I'm not always the most pristine with my speaking. I'm just, you know, I'm, this is me. Take it or leave it. At what point did you say, maybe I make a business out of it? I think it was when I got to over 100,000 views. I'm like, what? 100,000 people are watching my videos? I think I could do this. <laughs> so I had quit teaching and opened up my site to Makeup Geek. So hopefully that helps you guys figure out why your face looks orange. No more Oompa Loompa look. <laughs> At the core of Makeup Geek's foundation was education driven by Marlena's magnetic personality and natural know-how. But what made her content unique at the time was the invitation into her unfiltered journey through life. Hey guys, welcome to another week in my life. Marlena has always organically woven personal stories throughout the fabric of Makeup Geek's DNA. So it's another day in New York City. Her authenticity and openness created an audience that wasn't just loyal, they were also highly engaged. Hi, Tori. Hi, Brenna. Hi, Lindsay. Good question, Miranda. And it didn't take long for Marlena to see how leveraging that engagement could potentially pay off big time. Becoming a player in the oversaturated, highly competitive world of cosmetics would be daunting for most. But Marlena honed in on a gap that she believed existed between the industry giants and consumers. People don't have that personal connection. They don't know who the CEO is. They don't know what their hobbies are or what they love. So without that personal connection, people feel a little bit disconnected. The brand loyalty that came from Marlena's intimate and authentic connection immediately boosted sales. How'd you know what you were doing? Lots of trial and error. <laughs> learn as you go. It was like, yeah, we had a lot of mess ups. I was really honest. It's like, you know, this eyeshadow, this it, this does suck. I'm really sorry, you guys, but <laughs> I will fix it, I promise. So I've always been just very transparent with them and they appreciate that because they know I'm not gonna just sell them something for the sake of a dollar, you know? I know all of you who are watching Snapchat, you're like, yes, we know Marlena loves this color. It's my favorite. <laughs> Despite her meteoric rise to fame, Marlena has remained committed to the personal touches that Makeup Geek offers. We do handwritten notes that go in their packages. Um, the customer service all, always try to be very personal with them, so they're loyal to always come back because they know it's human beings behind that screen. It's another day at Makeup Geek in Michigan. She uses Snapchat to give her devoted fans insider and in-the-moment access to Makeup Geek's world. Snapchat is really fun for showing behind the scenes, so I'll turn it around and I'll say, guess what I'm filming today, you guys, or give me your feedback on what you want to see for the next video. And I love just showing personal bits of my life, too, because they get to build that one-on-one -on -one connection with me as a person instead of just me as the owner of a brand. Facebook allows the team to crowdsource ideas for product development. We do polls on Facebook and we ask them, what product would you guys like to see? What are you missing? And that kind of gives us feedback on what to create for them to make them happy. That happiness and support thrived even more when Marlena <laughs> dared to reveal more about herself. Basically five years ago, I used to weigh almost 300 pounds. I've always struggled with weight. 
since I was a kid. And I would get a lot of questions from people saying, I'm struggling with weight, I, you know, I noticed you started losing weight over time, what did you do? So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna show my whole body. So I'd post a couple pictures on Instagram or I did some uh, outfit videos for curvy girls on YouTube and they loved it. It took off more than the makeup did even. So it feels like the more kind of layers you shed, mm -hmm. the more people love you. Yeah. Instead of what, what some people may fear is that if I really show who I am, people might move away from me. Yes, yeah, but for me, that's been what connects them. The power of connection has made Makeup Geek a force to be reckoned with in the cosmetics industry. And Marlena is just getting started. I want to sell a lifestyle. I want people to feel beautiful and confident, even if it is just a swipe of a lipstick. And so I feel like that's how we're different from some of the big companies is that it's all about the confidence. It's not just a product.